Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rafa here. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you on the Iris Bus Citalis 12M CNG Ljubljana. There it is. Uh, and I'm actually going to be covering both the 12 meter and 18 meter bus, uh, buses with this video. Let's get on board. That's how the interior looks like. is true. They, maybe they were on a budget and uh, they decided to purchase uh, from uh, from Iris Bus or from Iveco, which is the, uh, the company that, uh, that owns uh, Iris Bus. Uh, these are also uh, one of the few buses. Actually, the only buses uh, that don't have seats right here in the, in the sort of middle uh, rear uh, side. And this is something I, uh, I don't really like because that's usually where I like to sit to film buses. Uh, unless perhaps the bus has a ZF gearbox and then I would sit uh, at the gearbox Closer, closer to the front uh, and on the left side, but in this case the bus is equipped with a Voith gearbox, four-speed Voith gearbox, and uh, oh god, I don't know how many horsepower the engine has already, but I'll update that in the description. It has a uh, an Iveco uh, CNG engine. buttons are also not very modern looking, it's just that kind of, uh, it's very, very old design. And I didn't mention it at the beginning, but uh, those buses date from 2011. Uh, Viviana operates 23 of the uh, solo sets. So 20 of them were delivered in 2011, uh, and another three were delivered in uh, 2013, with uh, not much differences. The only differences I can see between those, uh, the, the two, the two batches in a way, I mean, I know it's only it's 20 units from 2011 and only 3 units from 2013, but uh, yeah, basically the only differences I can see between uh, those two uh, batches are the rear lights. I, I didn't actually ride on one of the newer buses, but from the outside the interior looked look the same. But uh, in 2013, uh, the operator also received an articulated unit, uh, and that was actually their first uh, natural gas articulated bus. Um, and uh, I have a video of it, um, I have a silent ride of it on YouTube, which I will link. Uh, down below, I decided to just film uh, a guide video talking about both of them. But the articulated unit is okay. There's one big difference between the solo unit and the articulated unit is that the articulated unit has a green pulse uh, compared to the uh, 
if I should say, unlike the, the solo units which have orange poles. Strange that uh, turned out to be this way, but oh well. even the, the three 2013 solo units have orange poles. also look relatively cheap. Yeah, I mean overall I will I would definitely say this is not a bus that looks like uh, like its age. It definitely looks older than it is. But uh, that's how that's how Iveco is building their buses. This bus also doesn't particularly have any interesting voice sounds. I I heard some units uh, sound more interesting from the exterior, but unfortunately I didn't get to ride them. I was kind of focusing on getting the the more classic buses, and so I kind of sleeped on uh, on getting the better uh, Iris bus units. cushion but for some reason they're still very very hard uh, at the bum area is not very not very classy too not very uh, yeah just not it's not very uh, how should I say that like I would say it's not you can definitely tell that it's um, that it's from that it comes from a cheap bus and uh, yeah, just having that dee doo dee doo dee doo kind of sound is, um, it doesn't give a very good impression, I would say. Maybe it's just my taste, but I definitely feel that I mean, it suits well with uh, the character of the bus. But definitely, you wouldn't expect that, you wouldn't expect to hear that on like a, a modern Mercedes bus. No, this definitely suits a bus like Ibeko. Otherwise, I would also say that um, the air conditioning is not too good. Uh, in fact, my recording previously got stopped because my phone was heating up. And uh, it's because... Uh,
lasting as long. I mean, those Arismo's buses, I don't see them lasting as long as the Mon or Mercedes buses. Because I know that they're generally not as reliable as the Mon or Mercedes, and their interior also doesn't look as, uh, as modern. But then again, uh, I heard from some enthusiasts that uh, Ivaco has been improving in quality and that the, the new Ivacos apparently uh, break down even less than the, than the most recent Mercedes uh, buses. So, I guess things are changing. But then again, this bus is not brand new. It's already 13 years old. Oh, and another thing I can say about the articulated uh, bus, yeah, basically it, it looks like uh, this bus, of course, in green, in green poles instead, and. Uh, it looks like this bus, but just in the articulated version. Its articulator is much less spacious than the modern Mercedes buses. It's very tight. Uh, there's there's also no seats over here, so I mean, I guess it's good that there there's only one of them. And there'll be a lighting here. Yeah, overall these definitely are not the, are probably actually the least sleek buses uh, that Liliana has. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found the information interested, and uh, stay tuned for the next videos. Bye bye!